hello guys and girls welcome back to my youtube channel so we did take this trade as we analyzed and the analysis the good thing analysis of this video was done on this youtube channel and the video is still there we did say on volatility 50 index that this price since it was on a bullish pattern and we did identify this pattern to be a double bottom pattern and we said uh, since the distance between the neckline and this between two legs is not yet covered then this price is still on a very bullish momentum still and you can be visible query on the four hour time frame you can see on the four hour time frame we have this double bottom pattern and we said the distance between the neckline and this between two legs is the approximate distance that this price has to move and the good thing is this trade was shared on the telegram group for those who have not joined it the link can be found in the description below so guys and guys let me shift to the screen on the laptop so that we can get a very clear picture for those who missed the video analyzing volatility fifth index now i will go to the four hour time frame so that you can see that double bottom pattern that we did forecast earlier on the earliest videos the video was uploaded i think yesterday or so and we did say and we did analyze this from the highest time frame and we did say that this price is going to buy so guys and girls if you have not joined my telegram group the link can be found in the description below because it is there where i share my live trades from the very 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 first before actually uh, even posting on youtube so guys and girls this is the double bottom pattern that was formed on the volatility fifth index and the extra concept that if you didn't know that you are out to know or learn today is whenever this pattern forms just know its expected tech profit should be around this approximate distance but you should not ignore these important zones that you can find when the price is moving to these levels because these zones the market can do anything when it reacts to this zone when it reaches this zone the market can decide to do anything so guys and girls that's just a concept that i show i thought i should share it with you and uh, since we are on volatility fifth index and the trade is still running let me just go to another pair and hopefully we'll get another new entry opportunities or entry probability setups that they may work with together with us so let me go to volatility 10 index on volatility 10 index oh let me delete let me delete all these drawings first let me delete all these drawings so that we can start afresh and see uh, any update that the market will give us today on this pair let me delete this let me delete this so on volatility 10 index it is very possible to say that this market is on an uptrend direction just for a quick reminder we know how the uptrend market moves series of higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and we know for an uptrend market to be officially over then the previous higher low has to be broken so if this market comes to reaches around this level right here and breaks this level then we can say that this market is official over then we can see right here on this uptrend bullish movement that the price is retesting to this previous higher low of this uptrend movements so unless this level is broken first then we can say that this uptrend movement is over but since the market is still having some kind of difficulties and you can see the presence of these weak rejections it shows us these buyers are still strong so to be safe it is always better to first do not take any trades around these levels and wait and see how the price will react once in the market reaches these levels first and you can do that by just sitting on your hands and observing and avoid any taking any decision rushing decisions that will cost you your money so let me go to the one hour time frame and i get a clear picture of the candlestick movements
on the 1 hour time frame we still see the price is having difficulties no any entry conferences let me go to the 30 minute time frame on the 30 minute time frame no any still clear entry conferences on this pair so guys and girls if you are on your computer today just know that if this level is broken right here then you should just opt for looking for sell entries because once this level is broken it just shows that this uptrend movement is over already and the good thing is yesterday's video we did analyze this volatility and index and we did take a trade and hopefully uh, maybe i was out um, on the gym and i missed this trade but we did analyze it and we did say the presence of this double top part chain is also a signifying a short term sell and since we know the distance between these two legs and the neckline is the approximate distance that the market will move and we can see right here the distance is this distance is already covered already so if the for those who entered according to our analysis on this double top pattern i would suggest that you cross some trades or cross all orders and just leave around one or two and keep holding while the sl or the stop loss is on break even because anything can happen right now because this distance is already covered you can see right here and since this market is still on an uptrend movement it is very possible for this market to come back all the way up unless this level is broken first so so guys and girls if you are on your screen today i would suggest that you just keep observing this pair if it breaks of course wait for a retest or wait for a second phase movement which is a corrective phase and the way that the market will be correcting on this phase it's very crucial for you to know because sometimes the market can move uh, in a more logical way or more interesting way before actually moving to its direction you can see right here for example of on this bearish short-term bearish movement you can see the market after breaking this neckline of this double top pattern it did form some kind of a bearish flag of a minor bearish flag so how to trade these flags obviously it is the way i trade these flags is i press my st my sell stop orders around these levels right here because once this market breaks and I, my stop loss orders will be above this bearish flag how this is how i trade these bearish flags in order to write the existing already formed trains so guys and girls that's it for today open your computer go to volatility and index and observe this market today so guys and girls see you in the next video bye bye